everybody, it's Tamika and I'm here to share with you guys two projects I created this weekend. I am so super excited. I am trying to work out my layouts and it's not a, in, instead of putting all of my pictures in a mini album, I'm trying to work out my layouts so I can hang them up in, the living, in my living area where I keep all of my other um, creations. So this is a hanging faux canvas and I got this as an SVG file from the Silhouette online store. Um, use my cameo to cut it out and I love how it turned out. I like how they look like fake canvases and I'm gonna try to or see where I'm at. Okay, see it's it hangs. I'll set it down because it's kind of hard to see everything. So it'll hang. I have some uh, grow green ribbon and then I tie a little um, knot here with some lace that I had and then it just hangs like so. That's the top and that's the bottom. Uh, here's the back. I didn't do anything to the back, but that's how that looks. I love it. It's it was so easy to um, Figure out and I may do a tutorial. I don't know if it's legal or not. I don't know I mean I was gonna do a tutorial and show you guys how to do it if you didn't have a cutting machine, but I'm not sure that um, I can do that at any rate here is I'll start with the first one Let me scooch down the first one is of my daughter Taylor and I changed the photo to a um, sepia color because I'm playing around with coloring and, and extra stuff. So I changed the photo um, to match more of the lyric paper because I want to use all the rest of this paper up and be done with it. So I wanted to put that in there. I did some fussy cutting from the paper collection. I have a, a doily that I got from a a state sale and a state sale. I outline the edges. I love this technique. It just adds some definition to your frame. I outlined it with some black um, pearl trim and I have a beautiful floral collage here. I use gesso, snow text, and stickles. You can see that shine. And I just put remembering these and then I have um, some scalloped paper came with a little file and then I did two additional distress them with my distress at all and I love that picture of her we're at the park love 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 it and then I have some black lace some of that peach lace some um, trim uh, in white with the pearl the pearl centers and then some white lace at the bottom to kind of see they connect underneath there it's kind of hard to show this and then for the second one is little Miss Kyla and this is her picture same scenario with the beads and flower collection um, flower arrangement up there I have special moments so it says remembering these special moments I did some fussy cutting another doily same thing kind of wanted them to mimic each other different pictures so that's my hanging hanging sign I love 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 how it turns out it'll hang like that so cute so 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 cute I love it I will put some pictures here of um, the canvas so you guys can see it okay Okay, the next thing I want to share with you guys are these cute, cute, cute boxes I got from Shondi Walsh. I'll put her link in the description box. She is selling these and they ship flat. So pretty cheap shipping. And I know she has a sale going on with them because she's been selling them. But she sent me some. And here is the first one. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. She designed these cute little um, luggage boxes with the paper collection the paper she did her own little images on here but I just let me just show you how it look isn't it so so pretty I love how it turned out so cute so cute give you the full 360 again pearl trim all around I did want to cover up cover up Miss Moreau you know child you cannot cover her up so I did my best with this pretty pretty paper to just add a little Tamika to it so I used this trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. Cute, cute trim. I had some flowers because this image has a lot of the purple and the black in it. Kind of like the Moulin Rouge-ish. I love it. So I used some purple 
in it and I stickled the sides and this is the handle so um, I just added the trim around the edges there and then on the side I used a hanging charm it's from my bottle cap swap and all I did was add some acrylic paint around the edges to darken it up because it was like a teal uh, not like a teal like a green color which is also in this paper but just to tone it down and add a little black around the edges and it has this fabulous lady in the inside so I thought that that went perfectly and then here's my front I love how this turned out look how shiny that is <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Love it! Um, so I stickled it, of course. I used some Petaloo flowers that I've had in my stash for forever to bring out that purple and that black. I added, um, like I said, stickles and shimmer spray on all of my flower sprays. I have some black ones here, purple ones, and then a two-tone one there. And at the top, I have some, uh, also some little black rosettes. I painted those with my homemade shimmer mist. And then two little... Um, purple ones here to tone there so 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 cute cute and so the box just comes off and it's pretty deep so I just added some um, lace and trim so you can see how deep this box is so it's a great idea if you're giving someone um, a gift or you want to ship them something it's a great little presentation idea um, for whomever you're giving it to so I like how that turned out little Miss Marilyn so that's one box and then the other box I made you know I just couldn't because I'm in the shabby chic frenzy here this is the other one <laughs> so cute look at it it's so pretty I love it I absolutely love this my first time making a Miss Vicky flower I think she's gosh I think she's try heart 37 but if you YouTube um, Vicky Flowers, you'll see. I know Bona did a video on some of hers, so um, you'll find these pretty easily. So that was my first time doing this. I have bling in the center and then a little pearl. And then I put it on top of um, the crochets that I have in my my little store. I put, put them on top of that. And then I added some lace. I got this lace from Gisela. Also, this pretty rosette came from Gisela, who's Lavish Laces. I added a little... Um, Arty cake piece of an arty cake charm on the side and then I did the whole entire um, box around all the edges with cream flat back pearls on front and back look how beautiful that looks I love this paper and then I added another bow from that lace and then I added also a little um, charm I got from Michaels a little bracelet it came on like a, a it was like the beaded jewelry area and I just took a piece of that and used it for my handle so 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 cute I love it so let me open up the inside same scenario and here I just added um, just a little lace in here but look how deep it is very cute very cute so I like I like how they turned out and this is a great get, uh, gift idea so that's my shabby chic one and here is my Miss Marilyn Monroe child. She is working it. So <laughs> I hope you guys um, like what I created. And again, check out Shondi. Um, she's a Shondi Walsh. And I will have pictures of this project at the end of the video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.